this video, we will see SPI in PIC 16F877A microcontroller. Before going to this video, we recommend you to see how to configure the GPIO in PIC 16F877A microcontroller and how to make it high and low. A link for this is given in the description. Also, it will come at the right top in your suggestion. Also, we recommend you to know the basic concept of SPI protocol. This is also, we have done a video. It is given in the description. Also, find it in the suggestion box. Okay, let me recall the basic SPA protocol alone. This protocol consists of a moisture and a slave. It can have a number of slaves. Whenever the slave increases, it will increase the slave select pin. So that is one of a disadvantage of this SPE protocol. SPE protocol will consist of four lines that is serial clock and moisture out slave in and moisture in slave out. This serial clock is connected to the slave's serial clock and moisture out slave in of moisture is connected to moisture out slaving of SPA. So like that it is connected. Let's go into SPA in PIC 16F877A. This microcontroller has 8 bit data transfer of SPA. It can operate on 4 modes. 4 modes of clock. We will see it in the later part of this video. As discussed earlier, 4 pins are used for data transfer using SPI, that is, SDO, data out, and then data in, clock slave select. The slave select is also known as chip select. This RC5 SD0 is used for data out and SDA SDA RC4. This pin is used in SDI in PIC 16F877A. This is the serial clock and this is the slave select. We can use any of the pin for the slave select in this IC. This is the de default one. We will be using RB0 in our tutorial or example. This is the block diagram of SPI in PIC 16F877A. Here we can see the clock can be selected from the timer. That's why the timer configuration is given here. So clock will come this end. This is slave select. This is data out and this is data in. This will go to this SSPSR register. This register is not accessible in our program. So we can directly write in SSP buffer. That's what mentioned here. Read, write. Both can be done in this end. This is internal purpose. To configure 
and control SPI in PIC 16 f 877 e These registers are used. This is SSP con. This, this is known as control register. This is stated register and buffer read write buffer. This is not accessible. SSPSR, which I explained here before. We will take master mode waveform alone. I recommend you to go through the data sheet and understand other waveforms. I will explain this in this video. This is the waveform of moisture. Here, write to buffer is done here at this end. This shows anyone from this two, sorry, anyone from this four can take taken. So this is one kind of configuration of serial clock based on CKP and CKE. We will see in the program. This is data. Data will be like this when CKE is 1. CKE is 0, data will be like this. Here you can find the difference. Other will be similar. This is data in. This is how input sample works when SMP is 0. This is SMP 0. We can move to the program. This program is compiled with MPLAB XC8 IDE that is compiler XC8 compiler. So I am using this include here the main function. This is the record direction registers. This is for this is used to configure the directions that is either input or output. Zero means output and one means input. Here we are configuring the all the five, sorry, all the four required pins that is clock and data out, data in and slave select. Those directions are configured here. This is the hot top, that is the configuration of SPI in PIC 16F877E. Here, SMP, that is SMP bit of SSPSTAT, is configured to 1, that is set, which means input data is sampled at the end of input data time this is this is what i explained in the waveform and the other one is cke equal to 0 which means transmit occurs on transition from idle to active clock state and ssp and equal to 1 which means which enables serial port and configuration of SCK that is serial clock and data out data in and slave select as a serial port pins. This is the important one. Most of the programmers fail to configure this one.
and the, this is what this is where we select as a moisture that is pic 16 microcontroller is configured as moisture here so if it this means this control this has three or sorry this has four bits so all the four bits are equal to zero which means this microcontroller will act as the moisture and the clock frequency is F4AC that is the frequency oscillator clock by 4 with this is equal to the clock that is the oscillator operating frequency of the SPI. This is where we select the operating frequency. This is another configuration bit. This is the second bit of four level of SPI that is CKP. Idle state for clock is a low level. So the idle state of clock is will be low. That is what we are selecting here. Now you can understand the need of these two bits. So this is how we are controlling the polarity of the serial clock. So that these two bits are varied 0, 0, 0, 1, and 1, 0, and 1, 1. So that we can able to get the four polarities and four modes of SPA operation in PIC 16F877A. Let's move on to the working operation. Here we are configuring this to local variables and then the loop for ever. This part is moisture is reading from the slate so we cannot able to see the result with the proteus because we are using the proteus spi debugger so we are not going to see the real time example but i will explain the program so that we can understand the working operation while implementing with integration with any other ICs like EPROM or ADC, we may get some knowledge. For that, I will explain this. First, the chip select pin is low, and then a small delay is given, and then this bit will be set. Then the data is received. This is one of them bit which is used to get the information of the data is received in SSB bulb. So when this bit is set, moisture received the data. So moisture received data will be available in SSB bulb. We are storing it. In to A. The data transfer will start at this end. This is the start. When chip select bit is low, that time itself the moisture will start to read. For that we are giving the delay and then the bit is set. Copy to local. Again stop the operation. And then this is the right operation. We will see a real time example with the help of Proteus. Here, small delay, and then chip select low. This is the start, and then 
I am writing the x value 75 in the SSP bow. I am giving some delay. In this delay time, this buffer value will be right to the slave device. And then this is stop, that is, we are making the bit 1 so that data transfer will be stopped. So this is the loop forever and it keeps executing. We will see the real time example. Here I have pasted the code in this project. Let's build this. It builds successfully and go to the Proteus. This is the Proteus project, simulation project I have created. Here I am giving the clock that is the oscillating frequency is 10 MHz and as shown in the program RB0 is connected to the slave select and this is the serial clock and this data out is connected to the data in. So this is how the connection works. Here you can see this is the operating clock frequency of this spy. Spy mode is slave and then SCK idle state is low, sampling age is idle to active, bit order is MSB for first, stop on output bulb for empty. This is similar to whatever we have configured, especially this SCK idle state is low and sampling age is idle to active and the word length is 8. This is the first, first point I have explained. This needs to be similar. Now I will run the program. We don't need to see this one as we don't connect any wire to that. Here you can see the 75. 75 is the value what we have given in the program. We can see here. So 75 is coming here. So our configuration is correct and it is working fine. We can verify it with the calculator. The, the bit order is also given. X I am selecting and 75. So 1 0 going from this order. 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0. We can see here. So our configuration is fine and it is working. This is the simple example of SPY with PIC 16A and it is verified with Proteus simulation. In the coming tutorial, we will interface any one of the peripheral device that is EEPROM or any EADC with this PIC 16A through SPY. This is the end of this tutorial. Hope you like this video. If you like it, don't forget to press the like button below this video. And then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.